Before you ask, I didn't get a haircut, I got them all cut. But no, seriously, let's acknowledge this before we begin. I did get my hair cut. But, um, alright, cool. Anyway guys, welcome to the next section of our course. How to operate a puppet. We can't learn how to operate a puppet if we don't have a puppet at all. So I'm going to teach you guys how to build a garbage bag puppet. It'll be a little bit funny, a little bit weird to you guys, but it's just to learn the fundamentals and basics of how to operate a puppet. So let's get to it guys, yeah! Boom! So the first step to building your plastic bag chicken garbage bag puppet is to get your plastic garbage bag and just flatten it out like so. Then grab one of the corners and what you're going to do is you're going to tie a knot in that corner like so. If you have big fingers like me, you probably can't build the puppet. No, but seriously, it will be a bit finicky to start with. So all you want is just a little knot like that. And that will be our chicken's head and beak. If you can see that, it's the beak there and the head there. Now you come down to the handles of your plastic bag. These will be the feet. It's just as simple as tying knots in the handles. You can make these, a, or you want to make these a little bit longer than the beak. Basically the length of the actual bag handle itself. So there's one leg, go to the other one. There's two legs. Pull it through. There you go, two little chicken legs. So here's the chicken laying on its side, flat. There's the little head, a little weird looking tail, but what you do, you put that in like so. There you have two little chicken legs as well. There you go, there's your little chicken puppet. Um, let's give a demonstration of what it looks like standing up. So now here we have ourselves a little chicken puppet. Two little legs. Do, 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 do. And you might want to just stick the corner in like so, so it's not sticking out like that. Just uh, put it in like that. And the little chicken head. And that's the basic chicken puppet. Now I know it looks a little bit weird and a little bit silly and you might feel a little bit stupid, but the reason we're doing this is we're stripping it right down to its very basics. And this will just teach you the basics and fundamentals of how to operate a puppet. It might seem weird now, but when we get into the depths of why we built this and how we're going to use it, it will all make sense. Alright, let's see you in the next lecture guys.